episode. If you look over there, you'll see Obo, or a <laughs> tree man playing Obo, and he has a kitten. Look at the kitten. It's... Give me your views. Look at the kitten. <laughs> it's so cute. Its name is Leo. Leo? I thought it was Chub Chub. No, Chub Chub's the other one. Wait, did one just run off? That's a, yes. a different cat to the one you just had? This is a different cat. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's I have three cats. I can't keep, I can't keep track and of them. And a dog. But yeah, there was a dog in the last episode for like a small amount of time. He, he was sitting behind me. But now it's a cat. What, like a creeper creeper? <laughs> there in the background. Is that Come. that cat making that noise? It is. That is oh. the cat meowing. Oh god. Okay. Right then, let's... The Let's power through the cuteness. Um, hello, everyone. I'm I'm Blaget, and I'm the GM of a D and D fifth edition campaign, where players get together each week, venture out in the wilderness, maybe have some fun, probably not, uh, and that's that's the the formula. So we're joined today by uh, Mary up there, top left. Um, next to her is uh, Mike. Then we have uh, Kale. And on the the far the far right, currently with the uh, smiley face of shame, a uh, wonderful Jeff. And we're gonna gonna yeah. Gonna My name is Kalel, the... not Kale. Kalel. Please don't call me Kale. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but every time I go down to the farm and I pick some of that curly kale, I'm like, ah, oh, if only Kalel was here. If only. <laughs> if only. But then my hands get numb from the cold rain, and my knees get all the mud on them, and I, I just, I, I can't, I can't. I, I get back, and I've, all I've got is kale on the brain. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It'll take me a while <laughs> it's, to get it, used to that. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I, I get called a whole bunch of things. So, like, like I'm called Neon, called Obo, called EA. Uh, they call me Slim Kid. Uh, <laughs> Slim Shady. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. All of the nicknames. Superman. All of the nicknames. Oh yeah, because kal -El, of course. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, um, let's see. Um, how has my week been? Because I'm self-obsessed, I have to talk about my week. Um, really good. Uh, I'm a bit conscious we're starting a bit late, so I'll probably get through this pretty quickly. Um, my week's been really good. I had a, a lovely weekend. It was very nice. Um, didn't really do much of anything. I've been playing DSX uh, Human Revolution again. That's Ooh. a really good story. I'm loving it. It's like I, I played it through ages ago, but I'm playing it through now, and it looks horribly dated. It's like three years old, but love it. The story of the game, it's just like, mmm, mm, so good. And I'm also indulging myself uh, by murdering everyone, rather than being a goddamn pacifist. Not sneaking around and subduing people. I'm just Oh well, look! Look at all these l wonderful routes that you can stealth through, and all these stealth gadgets. And no, just shoot everyone in the face. Like I, I do the mixture, and I sneak around and I murder people. Nah, because on, on my first playthrough, I think it was sneak and murder. But um, I've just been the moment, the moment I can classify a bad guy as not a civilian, that they're, they're dead. Like um, there's there's a bit in it where you you have to go into a gang hideout and disable a. Um, the antennae, oh, and I was yeah, sneaking. yeah, yeah. That's like the I, first part. Yeah, I was sneaking right up until one of the gang members goes. So who are you gonna waft for your initiation? Oh, I'm gonna just shoot some random hobo with a sniper rifle. And I was like, oh, well, if that's their entry <laughs> protocol, <laughs> then this is mine. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I'm a bit depressed though that the machine gun always seems to do better than the combat rifle, like the little machine yeah. pistol. Like SMG, so oh, do more damage yeah, than it's rifle. it's Why? more powerful and it's Why? got a much bigger rate of fire. Why? But at the same time, like the AR is like really accurate, but accuracy doesn't really matter when you have a bajillion ammo. Plus, they actually drop ammo for it, whereas the yeah, they rifle, do. It's like, like they drop two bullets. The guy's shooting at me forever, and he drops two bullets. What is this? Anyway, um, <laughs> so as I said, going through this quickly, and Dark Souls Three came out yesterday. And I played it. It's a very good game. It's a very good game. Oh, Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk about it because spoiler zones. So I really buy, don't buy want Dark else Souls, to talk everyone. About it. Everyone should buy Dark Souls. It's amazing. Yes. Go to the game. I will say one thing though. I I was so hyped for it. I forgot that. Oh wait, it's a modern game, and I'm playing it on my PC. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> 
It's like Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Okay, okay, I'm definitely not playing it for the graphics, I'm playing it for the game. Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, the prettiness! Anyway, um... It's so, so pretty! <laughs> it's really pretty. So, um, so Mary, how's it, how's it been? And it's what, let's see, how long's it been since I saw you? Two weeks. Co couple of weeks. Two couple weeks? of weeks, no, um... Week. No, two weeks. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Three... Four weeks. It's been a month. It's been a month. That, that sounds a... about right. Yeah. I would have guessed uh, three or four weeks. Um, it's been good. Uh, and right now I'm very happy that it feels like spring, more or less. Uh, especially today. It's been really, really good. And uh, things are growing. They're supposed to be growing plants and stuff in my apartment. So, uh, it's good. So, uh, fruits and veg or flowers? Um, flowers and some herbs as well. So, um, you been up to anything in the last month? Watched any good movies? Seen any good shows? I don't even know anymore, um, actually. Uh, they did, um, they're doing a musical at work. Some of the students um, I watched last week. Uh, they're doing a rock a horror show. rock a horror show. And they were really, really good. I'm so pleased. It was a lot of fun. Okay. So, uh, if, if you're from Mary School, you can stop watching now. So how are they really? <laughs> No, really. <laughs> I don't. Uh, no, but but seriously, they some of them are 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 there for the music and, and that shows. I'm afraid my uh, my school musicals were let down a bit by the fact that I was in them, and my <laughs> my singing talent is non-existent. Pretty much. I, I played in a musical in year seven, and I butchered the acting, but I like I, I did ten out of ten singings. Well, but like the acting, the acting part, I'm just imagining like, you I lost licking the floor while all singing. of the lines. I forgot all of the lines. I was a wizard, and I was like, I had to be this guy named El. Well, no, I had to be like a wizard that loved Elvis or something. I really don't know what was going on. And <laughs> like when I'm, I come on stage for like a total of one scene. I come on, I say a couple lines, and then I sing. So I'm like, all right, I get on stage, I frolic my wand around, and I'm like, I love Elvis. Elvis is great, and just I then use this like butchery uh, to voice to go into la 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 la, la and it's, it's great. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, anything else cropped up in the last month, uh, Mary? Other than the weather? Yeah. That's about it, I think. Okay, dokes. So, uh, Mike, it's it's been. I think the last time you were on was the session with three mics that just ruined me. You you were the one that actually killed Carlo. Put an arrow right between his head, wasn't it? When he um, had a knife to Robin's throat. Is that right? I think you're muted. Yeah, you, you, you're definitely muted, Mike. <laughs> Zero sound. Zero sound. This is the bit where there he unmutes himself and tells me I'm wrong. Is that better? Yes, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Excellent. Yeah, I think that was that was definitely one of us. Um, I think I might have dropped briefly in that fight. Uh, I think somebody else got the kill shot. No, I, I, because, because Robin was the one that, like, dropped. I think he had dropped actually after helping you up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that somebody it was else three fired mics. the arrow. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was. So what was that session? Robin was the one with the knife. Asham was throwing the javelin. I'm pretty sure, let's see, it's either Mike V or Mike W. So, Mike W. Who's Mike? I think it was Dub. No, because... I think Dub. Dub's playing... Is that even correct? God, my notes. Who's Mike playing? Yeah. Sorry, but in the meantime, how was your how was your month or two? It's been a while, isn't it? Um, it's been good. It's been good. Months, maybe two months? It might have been two months. Just a lot of work, really. Uh, a lot of work, enjoying a uh, new set of magic. Been really into that lately. What, Magic the Magic the Gathering? Yes, 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 yes. Is there a new set out? Yeah, they just re-released, uh, or not re-released, but they released a new Innistrad set, and that's like one of the Ooh, big with, um, sets. Oh, Innistrad's got the vampire dude in it. What's his name? Black uh, vampire? Sauron, yep. Yeah. I, uh, I have a yeah. vampire deck. Um, and there is a wonderful combo you can do with Sorin the Planeswalker and Sorin's Vengeance. Your life total is oh. now 10. Take 10 damage. Yep. It's 
it's wonderful. Tell Robert. That. Yeah, here we go. But yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, it's just work. Work's Ooh. been a lot, but hopefully I'll be moving to days soon. Yeah, it might. But it might been, be a few weeks. It might have been Mike W with the kill shot because he's playing Robin Wood. <laughs> Robin that makes Wood. sense. I've gotten down and wrong in my notes as the wrong uh, character. Uh, no worries, no worries. Good. Uh, anyway, not much other than that. Watched any good like movies? Did, have you seen Batman v Superman? I have not. I've avoided it because I don't want to pay to see it. <laughs> because I'm worried it will be that bad. What was that? Oh. Note People drawing in my notebook, so that's what's that. Actually, I'm actually filling up this notebook. I might have to swap to a new one. That usually the means life of a GM. Like... Well, I have another notes. notebook, so I have I have my actual very nice, pretty notebook. Ooh. Nice. Ah, crap! Nice. Don't die, la uh, my computer, my poor computer. I just anyway. Um, <laughs> yes, let's let's move on. Um, Kale. Uh, fuck. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, Kale, what have you been doing? <laughs> if you Kale, really, really, really. That? want to avoid calling me Kale, you could instead call me Tree. Yeah, but then it sounds but. like I'm a madman. <laughs> What's he doing? Anyways. He's always in his room talking to Tree again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kale, how, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good, man. Pretty good. I, uh, I started jamming a game. Ooh. With, with a couple of my buddies from League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very evil campaign where we run around and we do nothing but murder things. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not a part of it. I'm just the GM who sets up incredibly normal situations for them to absolutely screw up. But yeah, that's that's the life. Incredibly normal situations are the best for players screwing up. Yeah. yeah. For example, you get to a border. Um, there are some guards. I mean, all they really want is you to pay like five silver to enter the town. What? No, we kill them. Why? <laughs> The well, cost okay. is too high. The, 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 the <laughs> other guards come and try to kill you. Yeah, we fireball the town. Why? <laughs> oh, players. But yeah, you, you watched anything good? Lately? Nope. I'm not a, not a big movies guy. Oh, speaking of watching stuff good, uh, I finished watching Jessica Jones. I finally got around to watching the last episode. Mm, nice. That was a good show. I, um... However, to to go with your do sexing, I did also begin. I I bought this for the for the Xbox, ooh, and I've been playing that a little bit because this computer can't run it. No, I've I've played it a whole bunch of times, but I'm playing it again. Story's good, right? Yeah, it's a really good story. I like it a lot. Maybe. Maybe I'm a bit less of a fan of like the main storyline, like you know the actual plot points with with the bosses and the the oh look there's just this clue which leads you to this clue and this clue, but the, you know the kind of the backdrop I guess, like the um the, the everyone's world? doing cyborg. Oh well, yeah, there's yeah, activists yeah. against cyborgidity. Cyborgidity, Borg, one of us. Cybernetic <laughs> enhancement. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. It's good. I like it. Cyborg people. What else? Uh, what else did I buy? Um, I got Dragon's Dogma again. Is that any good? Uh, um, yeah, it's actually really good. I really, really like it. Um, I, I just tried. I've, I just finished it like for the third time and started playing the hard mode. And holy god, is the hard mode hard? Um, I've got Fable Two here, which I rebought. It was like five bucks. Ta da. Uh, yeah. Duh. And then there's yeah, just the rest of my games. So yeah, that's what I've been doing recently. Playing games, it's, it's good. Yeah, man. And Dark Souls, it sounds like you might have had a bit of a bit of that in your life recently. Yeah, man. All of the Dark Souls three, man. <laughs> it's taken over my life, man. Good, because it's good, to be sweet. perfectly honest, when when this is over, I mean. I'm going, I'm going, playing some Dark Souls. I was even on the walk home from, from work, constantly just killing you all, just so I could play some Dark Souls. <laughs> but I, then I thought, no, that's a dangerous precedent to set. And people were just like, 
check for new released games. It's like, oh, we don't want to be playing in that session. A new game came out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just in case you do get killed by some, you know, I don't know, ancient red dragon. Um, totally was already there before Dark Souls came out. So. Um, how about instead of an ancient red dragon, you make it incredibly terrifying and make us fight a Tarisk or something? Oh, actually, no, it should just be a, a green dragon. Hey, honey, why did you yeah. leave? No. Honey, <laughs> no. get back in the no. kitchen, Obo. I don't want to go there. <laughs> okay, so, um, Jeff, how, how are you going? Uh, it's been, God, three, three months since, since I spoke to you. I have not played any d d in quite some time, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. That's okay, you've got some high levels to, to carry you here. Yep. I can just stand behind everyone since I am a gnome. <laughs> that would that would You're explain the name. Yes, uh, I I did have some pity on you, and I didn't do the forest gnome, so you don't have to act out all the little forest creature voices. Oh, I, I, I went, love them. It, 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 it's no, the best. Yeah. I went with the rock that. gnome, so I could do all the little contraptions. Uh, yeah. Rock gnomes are like totally pointless, though. Hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're pointless now, but when we have people start doing Warforged, or if you allow that, no. then it's going to get a little... No, you're not allowing that? Okay. No. Okay. It's core rule can't. book only. Okay. Um, elemental evil uh, spells are allowed only because I was in a previous campaign where someone used them and I was like, eh, they're not too bad. They're really useful. I, I really like well, them. Cool in fact, I picked are. up don't, Ice don't, Knife don't... for that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't yes, Ice Knife is the everything? best. Oh yeah, well, you would say that. I was. <laughs> so much that damage. one time that I blew up a warg, but the, the, yeah, I, I actually don't have Ice Knife on me anymore. I've got all utility spells. So, yeah. so um, I think that's that's enough of an intro. Um, let's mm -hmm. let's uh, find out who you're playing and what you've been up to. So, this is the world of Beyond the Bridge. There's a bridge, and this land is beyond it. So, of course, civilization is on the other side of the bridge, and civilization is one massive world-spanning empire that's, well, for the most part, pretty terrible and incredibly dull. But to the west, across the bridge, there's ruins, ancient civilizations, isolated towns, monsters, and you know, general stuff. I mean, if you can find it, or if it finds you. And so there's a, a little town called Haven. It's a little colony, pretty recent in the, in the scale of things, but it's been getting a bit of an influx of money. And, you know, things have started start to move and shake. And, and from here, the players venture forth each week, see, to see if they can find some trouble to get into and see if it works out in their favor. Glory, gold, experience, power, all those things. So let's start with um, you, Mary. What has Lynn been up to? And what is Lynn? Or who is Lynn? I guess would be a politer way of asking that question. What um, are Lynn you? is a human female and um, brown hair, green brown eyes. Um, she carries a, a shield on her back and chain mail. Looks like she could be ready for trouble. She's been uh, helping Damien and supporting him and uh, making sure he can um, hire some assistants since last time. So you're going to uh, spend the 200 gold and upgrade yes. um, the Damien's ability to assist people in the world. And this allows um, Damien to be used as like a, a trainer in the downtime to like get your muscles buff. Um, so you drop the 200 gold for that. And who are these uh, assistants? Yes. Do you have any ideas in mind? Mm, no. I recently thought of it, so I haven't uh, figured that part out. Okay, do. Um, I'm open to suggestions if uh, the others have any preferences. Name one George. Okay, so that's um, fine. One's George, and the other one's jo uh, Dorian Tull. Well, I wanted to call Martinez, but sure. 
George Martinez. Yes, George Martinez. Martinez. Hello, yes. I am George. Uh, welcome to the chapel. Uh, Dorian is not here at the moment, uh, but uh, if you would come this way, I can show you to where Mr. Damien is, and he will be lifting both heavy weights. Okay, so... Um, Excellent. Oh, I love it already. Hello, I uh, enjoy it. Um, so, Mike, um, tell us who tell us who you're playing, tell us who Tal is, and tell us what you've been up to in the while since you've last been on. I think, uh, while I'm playing Tal, uh, she is a wood elf uh, monk. Uh, came a great distance to stop an evil that she has yet to find here, but she is still look for, looking for it. Um, I don't think she's invested her gold in anything here yet, so I think I'm just doing hard work for however long. I think it's uh, your level times something. Yep, uh, a D6 gold. times your level. D6 level, cool, cool, cool. Um, but she's probably been helping Templar Damien. She's probably been just kind of helping the farmers. I think she was helping the farmers last time after they were attacked by Carlo or something. So she might have helped them just Distributing in the fields the, and such. the goods that you return from Carlo's, making sure everything was fairly settled, and then just helping out on the farm, hunting rabbits, keeping the wolves away, that kind of thing? Exactly. Okay. Oh, so that's um, 10 gold for you? It's it's oh, a D6 okay. times level, not 2 D6. D6 times level. I like D6 times level better in this case, so... I'll <laughs> well, in this then. case, yes, but if you had rolled it the other way around, you wouldn't be saying that. This is true. Okay, so, Excellent. yeah, living off the, the land and the goodwill of the, the folks, you never have the lack for a shelter or a roof over your head, and you have a nice full belly. And you even managed to make some uh, profit, you know, selling the excess, you know, selling, like, little little rabbit furs to the, the furrier and um, such. Um... What's the furrier's name? Hmm. And uh, Kalel, uh, could you could you tell us who you're playing? Who is Obo, and what have you been up to since we last saw you? Oh well, my name is Obo. I am a druid from a far off forest filled with nature and stuff, because because I'm a druid. <laughs> uh, you know. Herb is this half elf. He's kind of cool guy, you know. He he likes to hang out. He likes to do things, stuff, and he wants to train himself because he's being hunted by a green dragon. But we don't talk about that <laughs> in the presence of the GM because it scares me thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, every time you However, mention it, I remember the fact that there is a cannon dragon out there looking for you. Yep. <laughs> um, however. Uh, in his spare time, I wanted to get that second upgrade for the Templar Assistance, the so, next level. So you want to um, get the, the, the Blessing of Strength, which is an additional 100 gold. So you got that to drop? Yes. So this would this would consist of, while um, Mary and Damien are working with the Assistance, this would probably um, consist of you talking with Xiao Di. The, the, the merchant magnate and organizing a font from the, the empire to be essentially caravaned in. So the, the chapel is beginning to look a bit you know better. There's a, a font filled with uh, water in the in the um, chapel itself. The pews are nice and clean. Templar Damien is no longer like always looking haggard. Uh, and the, the roof tiles are like nice and clean, you know perfectly level. The bell's been polished. There now is an actual bell rather than cardboard put out, <laughs> so it's it's looking pretty good. Can Does we add a third mean... Templar assistant? Say that again. Can we add a third Templar assistant? Uh, no, sorry, it's Dorian oh. and George Martinez. Does that mean one that one uh, Shub can... Shub. <laughs> after the cat? After the cat. Does that mean that he can start making holy water to sell? Um. I think he doesn't uh, have like the the power to make holy water yet. No. Okay. Um, like he has a font filled with water, and you would you would assume. By the way, uh, just to the point, when you when you whisper me, it it shows up in front of everyone on the entire internet. Just just remember that. That's no problem. Um, <laughs> 
just keep in quiet. Um, you can't. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Um, if you have a heroic deed from the previous time and you don't use it, it's it's just gone. Okay. Just, uh, let's see. Where are we at? Okay. Just had no idea I had it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think there's the definite option now for like a pretty easy upgrade to Damien to get like holy water. It, it'd probably be something as simple as some like rare ungents that he adds to the water in bottles, you know, like some holy oils or little flakes of silver. Um so I'll I'll look into that. Arsenic uh, upgrade for Mercury. Holy water. <laughs> like at the moment the font's just used for doing blessings on people who can come and kneel before it. Um, who spend their downtime living a pious life and assisting them. Um, uh, holy water. So, I'm sorry, say that again? No, nothing. <laughs> I was talking about things that they were putting in the font. <laughs> it was just poisonous objects. You know, a bit of nightshade, a bit of, you know, something else poisonous. Um, so, Jeff, you're, you're joining us again, but you're not playing um, who you were before. You're Playing a, a wizard, you're play playing my Caldron. Time. So, yep. could you could you please tell us who this interloper in Haven is and what he's doing in the Great Wilderness? Caldron Gearbrox is new in town. He's uh, come from the large. What's the name of the large city again? The large city. Was, the main city. The the metropolis. It's just the empire. Like bank okay. of a name. It's, okay. It's entirely well, it's, undefined. Yeah. The Empire is He's just come from thing. the Empire because it was just too stagnant. He, there wasn't any new knowledge coming into the, their uh, that area. It was, it was just boring, really. There was no questions to be answered. So he's come to this town, come to the wilds to find out more about the world. And he's just offering his wiz wizardly services to any groups that might uh, need those types of things to help them in exchange for first dibs at any sort of knowledge. <laughs> knowledge is the knowledge. general term. And knowledge! Since this is Caldron's first time in Haven, there's no downtime to do with you. So I, I think all we need to work out is who who has a, a mission, an adventure, a, a purpose that they wish to bring everyone together to fulfill, and where does this happen in, in town? Bearing in mind uh, Oboe, uh, I believe there is a great dislike among the people for you. Am I correct in my memory? I believe I am. Yes, yes, there is. So, I doubt very much that Obo would be inside the tavern. He's probably skulking Maybe. around the edges of town. I'm more or less like you know how maybe the, like, hiding in the, from, the temple sanctuary. sanctuary. From memory, <laughs> from memory, there is like the little forest just outside of Haven. Yeah. Uh, imagine he's like sitting in a tree in that, like looking over a hill in, into Haven. Okay. And like so, once a day he comes into Haven to do things and then leaves immediately. Okay. But maybe because um, both uh, Lynn and Obo were working with uh, Damien, maybe that's the, the connection there. Mm hmm. So, let's see. Tal, would there be a reason for you to be near the, the, the temple, do you think? Uh, I think Tal's, Tal trusts Damien as one of the, like, only people in town she respects, I guess, for the most part, other than, like, the hardworking farmers and such. I think other than him and, I think, a little bit of Zhao Day, mm -hmm. she hasn't seen too many people, or at least interacted with too many NPCs. But uh, she knows Damien, so, yeah. Okay, so I, I think perhaps for, there was uh, a, a dawn ceremony at the um, the chapel to um, God, corn I believe it's cord cord not corn yeah <laughs> been playing too much dark heresy <laughs> um, so there's been like a dawn inauguration ceremony for the new like uh, font so you know the farmers have come in out of the land and Oboe's been hiding in one of the corners of the chapel is like people shoot him dodgy looks but I think as as the the bell tolls for the the end of the service and you'll like exit out. The, the townsfolk like spit on the ground near Robo and quickly filter off into into Haven. But the four of you, um, Obo, Lin, Tal, and Caldron, I I think perhaps you you've just come along because it's something happening. Like there's an event in town. You're like, well, 
nothing better to do. So I think I think at the end, as the the morning sun is like still just rising up, you're all stood outside the, the chapel, and there's maybe just a moment where you, you look around, and you you see that you've got a a group of people. So um, who's who would be the first to speak in this situation where you're just kind of all stood there awkwardly as the crowd empties? Well, so, uh, I need to go. <laughs> Because, like, maybe see I you can't around. stick around town. There's a... Uh, I've been well, reading Liam... about some, uh, some quests that we could possibly do. Well, I do need a team, and this looks like three ready and able people. That depends on what you want to do. Uh, when I was sitting there in the pews and, and listening, I... Well, it was nice and everything, but I felt that I really need a drink. Uh, and I remember having read something about it. So if you want to go get some Ellen wine, then I'm up for it. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Well, that's incredibly specific. But yes, that is indeed what I was going to go do. Anybody else oh, agree? Oh, that's perfect. What a coincidence. What a coincidence indeed. Uh, you there. You're a monk, aren't you? Yes. Uh, I suppose. Uh, is there... Any particular need for the wine in town, or we're just well, of course there is. It's wine. Okay. Well, you're being Fair offered enough. an opportunity. I'll take it. Yeah. You there, gnome? You seem new to town. I haven't seen you around. Who are you? I'm Cauldron. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what yes, you don't you, you don't need to know. You can just come along with us. It's uh, uh, okay. It's it's dangerous dangerous out here. I grab him by the tiny little hand of his, and I just drag him. Along so you reach down, down, like you stoop over. Yeah, I'm reaching him down as as like <laughs> tiny as I can, grabbing his tiny little hand, and like this, and I'm just dragging, it. almost yanking his arm off as you walk along. Because like I need to get out of town, and I need to get out of town now. <laughs> when when you do that, uh, I think we stay around a bit and. And, and talk about it because that's fine that we know what we want to look for but we have no idea really where it is and, and maybe if we it's are like going a, to get wine we have to have something to have the wine in it's like a northeast and yeah what do, do, do we need a it? is it northeast I don't know I'm not a memory uh hold on I'm going to go check some bounty boards, guys. B.O.B. <laughs> so I'm just getting pulled along behind you because you haven't let go of me yet. You're coming with me. No. Someone yes. No. I mean, do you actually say, someone help? Like, it's like just like a high pitch. Like, no. It's like it dragged along. <laughs> I, 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 I think we very clearly like see this really sour-faced child watching you and she turns to her father and goes he's doing it again that's bully and as you're like dragging the kid the gnome out of town like you, you can already <laughs> see the dark scowls on people's faces as they misconstrue this event but they were already scowling so what's different they were already scowling it's, it's not that bad could be worse um, but yeah, don't the... worry we'll, we'll come get you in just a little bit you don't have to be alone with him <laughs> okay, so um, the the quest you're talking about is Elven Wine. The last hope is buzz with rumors of a fountain, a fountain of Elven design that produces a limitless stream of wine. The tavern owner has offered a reward for a hearty supply of the stuff. No one knows exactly where this rumor sprouted from, but everyone agrees that there's a secret Elven village somewhere in the woods to the north so it's it's somewhere in the Soritix woods which are just north but mm -hmm. it's it's very vague it's just this kind of this rumor that's seemingly cropped up out of nowhere about god four or five weeks ago well i was correct about north so <laughs> maybe we should just head in that direction uh, i still say that we need something to actually carry the wine back with us in um, if you can we to that, talk to you can go Yaldi? To the store, uh, and, but I don't want to run through the town. Oh, Xiaodi oh, is, is yeah. more than happy. Um, so you, <laughs> you walk over to the general store, and you get there, you walk in, and you, you find someone behind the counter 
who's not Zhao Di? There's Ooh. a like short cropped brown haired man, uh, maybe about five eight, five nine. In if you can imagine like a medieval fantasy style business suit. So, you know, <laughs> like brown tan leather with with like a, a ruffled shirt. And he, he greets you as you, you walk in and he goes, Ah, customers, hello, what can I do for you? Uh um, hi. Who are you? Oh, um I'm Ashlyn. Ashlyn? Yes. You're a uh, new in town? Oh, well, um, yes. Good. Um, shouty hi. Good thing that you're new in town. Really good thing. Just don't don't listen to the people. Don't do About it. About what? Nothing. Just Is... disregard, disregard, and I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we we would like to maybe hire something to to transport a liquid in, like oh. water or something similar. Uh, Do you have anything? How, what are we talking? Uh, barrels, kegs, uh, water skins. Water skins sound too little. Um, I don't know. What do you say, people? A keg's a smaller. How than much a barrel, is a keg? Right? Um, we. Well. He, you have to be able up, to like transport a, a, it as well. He holds up a, a, a keg about the, the size of, you know, maybe a large person's head. Like, big enough to, How to much, carry um, a, a fair few in. So half a cauldron. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> How All much is get. it? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. A gold. Um, so he goes, oh, for, for this wonderful keg, it is for you... Oh, dear lady, the small, small price of one Imperial. I see, I see. And a barrel? What's that? Oh, and he, he, like, gestures at a barrel that's like, you know, it's a barrel. It's, it comes up to maybe his, his mid-torso. It's like, for one of those, they are the larger variant, you see. Two Imperials. We'd need something to... You would, you would definitely uh, need something to... A cart or something. Um, and there there aren't really any... Well, there probably are now that there is um, there's a stable. So the, the problem is the, the ability to get some, some horse and cart going. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Can I put a my bit head back into the store real quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so, so you walk out into town and you see some villagers growling at you. And you maybe think, maybe it's a good idea to leave through the rear edge with it. <laughs> You walk back into the store. <laughs> All right. Uh, hi. Uh, barrel? What? What are you guys talking about? And I, I see him like holding the thing, and I'm like, I think for like wine, we'll need a more ornate jug. Have oh, you got jug like a, a, a well, I could, I could sell you a dozen bottles. No, no. Oh. I need something to contain the wine, but I, I want it to not look terrible. I want it to look good. <laughs> We have some I very nice good bottles. Whilst we transport the wine, I think we want quantity over quality at mm -hmm. the moment. So yes. a barrel would be better. We can we can pour it into bottles afterwards if we want. The main okay. thing is getting it back to town. I, I, I slip over to the general store guy. And I'm like, slip me one of your bottles. Give me one. <laughs> um, he goes, of course, of course. Uh, do you have some money? I have 140, 160 monies. Excellent. It's it's uh, two gold for a bottle. All the monies. All right. I I, I just drop two gold and then like slide it across the table with my fingers. Okay. He he takes your gold. And gives you something. Um. So do you want to um, get a barrel and like a uh, donkey and cart, something like that? Is that is that the plan? That sounds about right, but. What is the exact wording on the quest? Do they want the whole fountain, or did they just want the wine? Um, I, I, it's, it's, I, a large rumor. it's a rumor about the fact that there is wine somewhere. I run over the street into the tavern, and I've been talking quite a lot with tavern owner. I've been working that on and off. And oh, I just yeah. ask him qu quickly, just how much wine do you need? We, oh, we're looking how, for the I, Elven wine. I, I really don't know. The fountain limitless. Uh, the more you bring me, yeah. the more I can sell. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you, thank you. How and and, and, and as you like so to leave, he goes, However, if oh. it is a rare and valuable elven wine, quantity would devalue it. But I still, see. I think oh. a certain yeah. amount of quantity is needed. 
Haven is, after all, a growing business. How about a couple of, of cakes, was it? The smaller ones? They wouldn't last very long. A uh, barrel, perhaps? A barrel? We'll try for that. We we'll just have to try for that. Okay, so I go back into the general store. We'll go for the barrel. You cough up two gold? Yeah. Get a barrel? And are you just wanting to, to rent, like, a, a horse and cart? A mule, maybe? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, because, like, you can buy a, a, a donkey with a cart for, like, 25 gold, 23 gold. I'll pay for it. Ugh. So you want to drop that? Okay. You now have a, 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 little, a little cart with a donkey. Very, Great. Very donkey and a keg on and the a, cart. And a, and a barrel on the cart. We are prepared to leave town, I think. Okay. Thanks. Are we prepared? Are we really, really prepared? Well, because I was already prepared, and I really want to get out of here. <laughs> Let's do that. Just yeah. as an aside, what, like, since culture is new to town, what are these rumors he started to hear about Oboe anyway? <laughs> like nothing. No, no, no. Don't talk about it. I mean, I, I, I don't think days. you've had a chance to hear any rumors. Because like, the way he the acts and the way people are acting was like hmm? outside outside the chapel, and since then he's been like dragging him around by the wrist. So all you see is just like villagers scowling, and like it looks like they're arguing about someone should do something about that. You know. Oh, should we get the militia? Oh no, 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 no! We should do it ourselves. And they're like looking around. You know, you can see the torches and pitchforks beginning to form. Yeah, that kind we're of leaving. We need to leave right, right now. now. Yeah. Okay. So Coltrane's um, a little uneasy about this. Like he doesn't know what's going on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I, I think that's and, and like it's gone from like grabbing it like this to grabbing it like this. Just scrap his like, neck. No, not the scruff of your neck, but like your wrist, like your whole arm is now being devoured by a half elf's hand as it's you're being put him dragged on the donkey along. Instead, you don't have to drag him around like that. It's not civilized. I, I can just follow you, please. Like, go. You know what? That is a good idea. Mm. <laughs> All right, I let go of it. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I think we can we can call uh, a a bit here, and um, we'll start the second section. Uh, with the with the travel out of town, so mm -hmm. if you've been watching, well, wow, people watch this. You should see help. <laughs> psychiatric help. There's clearly a problem. But if you're still going to watch it after that, we'll be back in five minutes or so. So thank you all. Stare at your cameras and smile. <laughs>